All right, this is a 2021 Sunlight Classic by Sunset Park RV. Uh, this is an 18RD model. Uh, we'll start up front. You have your front tongue jack. You have extend and retract and light on when you're hooking up and it's dark. Uh, you have your chains right here to hook up to your vehicle. And then right here, this is your breakaway. It's an emergency brake for your trailer. So if it were ever come off, uh, this pulls out and it locks up your brakes. Uh, it has a little carabiner on it. Just hook that next to your chains. Don't hook it on your chains. Then you have your seven way right here for your brakes and lights. Then you have your propane tanks up front. It has a nice little cover on top. Uh, these tabs just unscrew, pull out. Then you have access up here. And then on the bottom you have some little tabs with a bungee cord hooking it on so you just pull those out and slide it off uh two 20 pound tanks uh, and your regulators right here it's an auto changeover regulator uh, so when you're using one tank and it goes empty, it'll automatically switch over and draw from the other one uh, You have a little switch right here. That just tells you what tank is drawing from uh, And there's a little arrow on it as well and Then right here This is where you tell if there's gas going through or not right now. It's red uh, Actually, it's clear right now, so that means there's gas going through uh, if one tank goes empty, um, whatever tank it's pointing to goes empty, that'll turn red, but it'll start drawing from the other tank. Uh, if you want to take this one off to go get it filled, just switch that over to that tank uh, so it don't bleed out through this pigtail. You have your 12 volt battery right here. Uh, fuse for your front jack. Uh, so if that stops working, check that little fuse right here. This is pre-wired for solar panels, uh, solar charging. Uh, so you can plug them in right here and it'll just charge your battery. And also, uh, if you wanna put some more uh, permanent solar panels on, uh, you can mount them on the roof. And then this is the wiring to hook to your battery for the solar panels. Then you have your front storage compartment. That just unscrews. You have a little tab right here that you open. And it holds your door open for you. Uh, just a little space right here. You have stabilizer jacks on each four corner. Those are only made for stabilizing. So don't try and lift up your camper. Just crank them down till they hit the ground. And then just give it a half a turn. Put that pressure on it. Then you have a fresh water connection right here. Uh, so that's for your portable water tank. Uh, so when you're traveling and going to a state park, you can have onboard water. Just put your hose in there and it will fill up. Then down to the right, you have your water heater. That little tab just unscrews. And then you have your pressure release valve right here. Uh, open that up when you're winterizing. And then you have your drain right there. Uh, this is gas only, and the switch for that is inside. Then you have cable hooked up right here. Uh, hook that up, and then you'll have cable inside. You have your city water connection right here, so you can hook your hose up here, and you'll have water straight to your fixtures. Uh, just make sure you have your pressure regulator on. Uh, what other, it doesn't matter what end of the hose it's on, just make sure it's on before water goes into the camper. Uh, just make sure that your lines don't blow out. Won't have any leaks or anything. Then you have your outside shower. Uh, hot and cold water so you can rinse stuff off outside wash it so you're not making a mess inside then you have your sewer outlets right here so this cap just unscrews 
Uh, it's a little tight because it's new. It's got a nice good seal on it, so you won't have any leaks. Uh, so you have your gray valve right here. That's for your gray tank, so your sink and shower water. And your black valve right over there, it's also bigger. That's for your black tank, uh, which is your toilet water. And you have some low point drains right here. Uh, so you're winterizing, you can just unscrew these caps. You can blow out your lines. Or if you want to use antifreeze, uh, you can drain that as well. Make sure all the water's out, put them back in. Then just run antifreeze through your system. Uh, your bumper right here. Uh, that's where you can store your sewer hose. That just squeeze it together and it comes out and then pushes back on. In the back, you have your spare tire, your entry, uh, your steps. You have an awning. Uh, then your power cord just uh, pulls out and then you shove it back in in there. It is a 30 amp uh, out or system. Uh, so just make sure you're plugged into a 30 amp outlet uh, if you want to run your AC. Or if you're at home, you can plug into an extension cord with an adapter. Keep your battery nice and charged and your fridge cold before your trip. You also have another awning on the side. Then you have a vent right here. This is for the back of your fridge. You'll never have to go back there. It's just where we service it. Uh, you have a couple speakers out here. Uh, and then you have an outlet right here. Then you have another front little storage compartment right here. Uh, and that is a crank for your stabilizer jacks. Uh, it's a three quarter inch uh, nut. So you could use a three quarter inch socket with a drill to make it quicker. Uh, just be careful when you're doing that. Uh, then your door right here, that just opens up. And then your steps, you just pull them up. You have a blue lever right here, that just locks it in. Uh, so when you want to open them, just pull that out. And just pulls right down. And then walking in, right to the right, you have your converter right here. Uh, just push that in and it unclicks. You have your breakers and your fuses right here. Um, they're all labeled as well, so your breakers are right here and your fuses are right there. Then you have your fridge. Uh, open up the freezer door. Your controls are right here. If you press on, it'll beep once it turns on. Uh, this button right here controls what source it's coming from. Uh, so with it pushed in, it'll be on auto. That's looking for electricity first. If you lose power overnight or if you're just not plugged in, it'll automatically go to gas. Most people just use that uh, so they don't ever have to mess with it. Uh, if you want to make sure it's only on gas, just push that out and it'll go to gas. Uh, if the light comes on next to the check, uh, that means it didn't light. Uh, this The fridge draws the least amount of propane, so if you haven't used it for a while, it might take a couple tries to light it up. Then your fridge right here, decent size. I'll turn it on. Uh, and then you have a nice LED light so you can see inside. Then behind me is the monitor panel. Uh, so you have... Uh, light switches right here. It's for your awning lights. Uh, that is for, actually that's one of your awning lights. Uh, that is for the patio light above the entry door and, and the other awning light. And then you have your inside lights. Then you have your switch for your water pump if you're using your fresh water tank. Uh, flip that on. Once it builds pressure, it'll turn off. And then every time you drop, open up a faucet, it'll kick back on. Uh, switch for your water heater, so just flip that on. That light will come on. Uh, once it lights, it'll go out as it just did. Um, and then if it stays on after a couple seconds, that means it didn't light. Uh, it'll try for three times. And then if it doesn't light after three times, uh, you'll have to turn the switch off and try it again. Just check your gas bottles, make sure they're on. Then you have four little buttons right here. 
every time you press it lights will come on telling you uh, how full they are and how charged your battery is so your battery is fully charged fresh water tank is a third full your black tank is empty and your gray tank is empty then you have your awning uh, switches right here so you have your rear it's out Uh, with the electric awnings, they don't stop by themselves, so you have to watch it when you're rolling them out. Uh, there'll be a balance that'll fold down, and you'll be able to see the bare tube itself. Uh, so just once you see that, let off the switch, and it'll stop. If you keep holding the switch, uh, it'll roll it backwards, and then it might bend the arms and cause some damage. Uh, so that switch is the rear as it's labeled, and then this is the side awning. Then this door right here is your bathroom. Uh, so walking in, straight ahead is your toilet. Uh, that just opens up uh, right there so you can sit down. And then on the side right here, you have a foot level or a foot lever. Uh, push it down a little bit, it'll add water. And then to flush it, just push it all the way down. You have your light switch right to the left of you, right there. Then you have a fan. Uh, so this right here is your crank, so you can open it up. Uh, and your vent lid has to be open for this fan to be on. Uh, it's just a safety hazard for it. Uh, then you can control the speed. So you have one, two, and three. And then you can also control it if it's sucking air out or blowing it in. And then you have your shower right here. You have a nice little skylight above it so it lets in some natural light. Hot and cold water. Uh, your shower head actually comes out and you can spray around with it. On the shower head you have this little switch right here. Uh, that just shuts off the water so you can save water while you're showering. You know, stay at the same temperature. Uh, soap up, whatever, and then when you're done, turn it on and then you'll have water again. Uh, your shower curtain, and there's some little magnets on the bottom to keep it closed while you're showering. Uh, fire extinguisher right there. Uh, and then you have your thermostat right here, uh, so that just clicks on, and then you can control the temperature right here. When you're done using it or storing it for the winter, make sure that it's clicked all the way to the right. Uh, you'll hear it click once it's off. Uh, just make sure you hear that click when you're turning it off because it only goes down to 50 degrees. And obviously in the winter it gets way below that so it'll try and keep lighting itself if it's still on uh, you have some nice storage up top uh, your dinette seating right here uh, the table lifts up and you can pull the poles out and set the table down on the seats and then put the cushions on top and you have a nice little bed uh, if you have some guests or whatever uh, then you have your sink right here, nice little cutting board that comes with it. Uh, you can put it over it, have more counter space, uh, lifts off, nice little double sink, some drain plugs, hot and cold water. You have a light above here so you can see GFI outlet right here. All your outlets are GFI protected, so if one trips, this is where you reset it. Then you have your stove top right here uh, that just pulls up. Uh, you turn it to light and hit your sparker and it lights up. Then you can turn it off. To close the lid, you just lift up on it, it unlocks it, and then you can fold it down. Uh, nice little storages on each side. And then you have a little drawer for some silverware. Uh, then you have a stove top light and a vent. Household microwave, uh, pretty basic. Uh, and then you have your radio right here. Uh, you have zone one and zone two uh, when it's on. 
Uh, so you just push that and it'll turn on. Uh, so zone two is inside, zone one is outside. And uh, then you just push and hold it and it'll turn off. It says goodbye to you. Um, and then in the front, you have a nice little jackknife sofa right here. Um, and you, you have a nice little Murphy bed. Uh, so you just lift up. And push down. And it folds all the way down. So you have a nice little bed or whatever. Uh, and then right here, you just unclick that. And this folds down. Uh, then these straps hold the mattress down uh, while it's up. Uh, and then right here you have a, you can mount a TV right here. You have your hookup right there. Uh, DVD hookup right here. Uh, to use a DVD player, you actually have to buy a DVD player. Uh, and then get an HDMI cord, hook it to the radio, and then it'll go right to here. Uh, you got some nice wardrobe on the side. Uh, space to hang some clothes. Uh, outlet and USB port. Then on the other side, you have another wardrobe and an outlet. And then, uh, that is everything uh, to do with the 2021 18RD uh, Sunlight Classic.